Hi, I'm Leo Neri of Far Eastern University. My article, Feminine Invasion, Women and Philippine Pharmacy in the Early 20th Century, aims to contribute to the expansion of historical narratives of Filipino women, specifically women of the American colonial period. Here, I show that Filipino women, although constrained and marginalized by colonialism and patriarchy, took advantage of opportunities provided by reforms in colonial education and actively participated in expanding what can and should be considered the domain of women. In the article, I trace the reorientation of Philippine pharmacy from a male exclusive profession during the 19th century to one that is dominated by women and how Filipino women led the process of feminization. Feminization, according to Tracy Adams, involves not just the emergence of a dominant woman majority, but also the recoding of an occupation or profession as women's work. Philippine pharmacy underwent such a transformation, and while this phenomenon is a critical juncture in Philippine gender discourse, there is an unfortunate gap in scholarly inquiry. I hope to address this gap through this study. The access of women to scientific education, as shown in the article, provided a key opening for women. While colonial education still perpetuated a gendered division of labor and professions, the introduction of basic scientific concepts through the domestic science course enabled women to enter pharmacy. Prior to the early 20th century, women only had access to careers such as education and midwifery precisely because they were denied scientific and medical training. The domestic science course, despite its, despite its purpose as a rudimentary training for homemaking, provided Filipino girls with foundational scientific knowledge and enabled them to see the medical courses such as pharmacy as a logical trajectory. More importantly, women saw the possibility of entering pharmacy despite the masculinized perception of the profession. The entry of women in the pharmacy courses dismantled not just male exclusivity in pharmacy, but also created inroads to other science-related professions and careers. The pharmaceutical course became a starting point for women to enter careers in scientific research and education, dismantling the monopoly of men in these careers and expanding the role of women in science. The increase in, of, women in, of women pharmacists, or as described by Juan Barbera, a feminine invasion, shaped Philippine pharmacy into a profession for women and one that is suited to their needs and aspirations. In the article, I discuss what I call the domestication of the botica, where pharmacy, both the practice and the establishment itself, became intertwined with the home, which is the domain of women. Women pharmacists became essential consultants for domestic management, especially in the use of chemical products for ensuring good health in the home. More importantly, they, become, they became important members of the medical community in the Philippines. While the feminization of pharmacy did not immediately lead to the liberation of women from domesticity, I consider it a significant event in Philippine gender discourse and as a part of the historical narrative of the struggle of Filipino women toward equality and freedom. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy reading the article.